the news, court unapologetically condemns four people to death for killing blogger. Student jailed for five years after spending $1 million erroneously paid into her bank account. NFF fires Super Eagles technical crew over failure to qualify for 2022 World Cup. Details shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan African news network. I am Merciful Ajinomo, and this is TOS News 360. A court in Bangladesh has sentenced four people to death for killing a blogger and science writer critical of hardline religious thought Ananta Bijoy Das. Bijoy Das, known for his critical writings on religions, was attacked by masked men with machetes near his home in the northeastern city of Silhet on May 12, 2015. His murder happened only three months after US-based Bangladeshi blogger Avijit Roy was killed in a similar fashion by machete-wielding assailants in the capital, Dakar. The Turkish prosecutor has asked courts to stop the trial in absentia of 26 Saudi suspects over the killing of journalist Jamal Khashoggi in 2018 at the Saudi consulate in Istanbul and transferred the case to Saudi authorities. The court announced on Thursday it would ask the, for the Justice Ministry's opinion on the request and set the next hearing for April 7th. President Volodymyr Zelensky has recalled Ukraine's ambassadors to Morocco and Georgia, as according to him, the diplomats had not done enough to convince those countries to punish Russia for its invasion last month. Zelensky, during a nighttime video address to the nation on Wednesday, said, With all due respect, if there won't be weapons, won't be sanctions, won't be restrictions for Russian business, and then please look for other work. And now to Nigeria, the Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, while briefing State House correspondent in Abuja, disclosed that 29.2 billion naira has been approved for the completion and rehabilitation of road projects in some parts of the country. Fashola revealed that 9.4 billion naira of the amount was an augmentation for Zaria Funtua Road, Lincoln, Kaduna, and Katsina State. The Austrian State High Court, under the ruling of Justice Adepele Ojo, has dismissed a no case submission filed by the councils to the owner of Hilton Hotel, Rahman Adedoin, and seven others facing trial in the murder case of a master student of the Obafemi Awolo University, Timothy Adegoke, ruling that the suspect have a case to answer. The prosecution counsel, M. O. Omoshun, prayed the court that a no-case submission by all the defendants be dismissed as prima facie had been established based on all evidence presented before the court. This is your digital first Pan African News Network TOS Television. You are watching TOS News 360. Africa business and sports stories on return. Do stay with us. Thanks for staying. And now to development across Africa, a South African woman, Sibongile Mani, who went on a spending spree after erroneously receiving nearly $1 million in a bank account, has been found guilty of theft and jailed for five years. Mani received 14 million rand instead of a monthly student grant of 1,400 rand in June 2017 and started spending it immediately, the court heard during her trial. It was gathered that Mani did not report the error. Instead, within two hours of receiving it, she started spending the money. By the time her account was blocked, she had used nearly $70,000 in 48 places across the country in 73 days. The Democratic Republic of Congo's Economy Minister Jean-Marie Kalumba is set to leave office after he lost a no-confidence vote in Parliament over the soaring cost of leaving. Before the vote, Kalumba had blamed hikes in the prices of oil coal and cereals on the crisis in Ukraine. He explained that DR Congo imported 55% of its wheat from Russia and 15% from Ukraine. Niger has announced plan to recruit 5,000 soldiers to boost its flight against various Islamist militant groups that the army is badly. The military said the recruitment of those aged between 18 and 25 would be done in May. The recruitment comes as France plans to withdraw its troops from neighboring Mali, potentially. 
live in a vacuum after nearly a decade in the fight against extremist groups in the Sahel region. In talking business, a competition and consumer protection tribunal sitting in Abuja has restrained multi-choice Nigeria Limited from increasing its tariffs and cost of products and services scheduled to begin on April 1st. The three-member tribunal, presided over by Thomas Okonsun, gave the order following an ex parte motion moved by Festus Onifade, a legal petitioner, on behalf of himself and the coalition of Nigeria consumers. In talking sports, the Nigeria Football Federation has fired the technical crew of the Super Eagles following the failure of the senior national team to qualify for the Qatar 2022 World Cup. The Eagles surrendered their ticket to Ghana national team in a 1-1 draw on Tuesday at the MK World National Stadium Abuja. The General Secretary of the NFF, Mohamed Sanusi, in a statement said the two-year contract offer to Egoven has been withdrawn. And that is TOS News 360 on your digital first Pan-African News Network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Do follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Stay with us and enjoy my programs on TOS Television Network. I am Merciful Ajinmo. Thanks for watching. Thank you.